Well, g'day guys. Welcome to the channel. Have a look what's on the bench today. Now, this is mine. I love this little device. It's uh, just a little multifunction tester you get from, uh, I think it come from eBay or AliExpress or somewhere like that. It was cheap. It was, yeah, I don't know, 30 bucks or something. And it's so convenient. It just tests just about any component. You press it, away it goes, looks for a part and can't find things. Well, it thinks I've got a resistor and it thinks it's 54 ohm. Uh, maybe uh, if I do that again, there you go. So it knows its leads are open. Now, one major fault with this, the bloody battery is always flat. And why is that? Why don't they hold a charge? You charge them with uh, a micro USB, which is a nuisance. Wish it was C, but we might have a look at changing that. Maybe. Um, yeah, why is it always flat? It's because it's a push start, and hence the unit is always in standby. So the battery is always being drained a few milliamps yeah it's not a lot but it's a nuisance because every oh, every week i go to use this and it's flat it only lasts for a week or two and then it's flat again so what are we going to do with this i'm going to put a power switch in it to disconnect the battery so just going to show you what i do it you might have one of these and have exactly the same problems as what i've got Okay, so we're going to uh, yeah take this one apart, have a look, and work out how we can put an on-off switch in line with the battery. So when it's off, it's off. There is no no um, standby. There's there's nothing. There's no power. We still maintain this to reset it and check other parts. All we're doing is putting the switch in line with um, the positive of the uh, battery. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look and see what's inside these things. Now, I have seen other videos on online with uh, what's inside them. There's not much. There's a circuit board with a chip on it. So, not much. But let's, let's see... How are we going to cure this problem of uh, a flat battery? I'll try and make this video as quick as I can because this isn't one of my long videos. Okay, here we go. There. Righto, guys. Okay, there we go. There's our 3.7 volt battery. Connects onto the board. Simple as that. There we go. Now I have done a modification of running the wires straight out rather than having these fiddly little things that I push in here. I can still use this, the zero insertion. Um, I can still use that, but these wires also go out and they're soldered on rather than relying on the little pins that go in there. Okay, all we've got to do is put a switch in line with the positive line or the negative line, but I'll be using the positive, of this fella. Okay, so where can we fit this switch? Just sizing it up, I have a little CNK switch on off switch that's what I'll use now I've cut that tab off I only need that one and that one I have bent them over so that it's uh, lower profile and what I'm thinking is in the side about uh, towards the bottom in the side there there is nothing in there that this can touch on now we've got to go up a little bit so wherever that fits in there and poking through 
and just uh, secure him with the uh, the washer and the nut. Okay, so if I take this whole thing out, actually a little bit further up, it goes in that way around. There is less electronics up here, up towards the top, so I'll probably mount it up towards this area here where there sort of is uh, nothing for that to go near uh, to touch on or anything like that okay so uh, I'll mark it out and show you where this is going to fit the best positioning there would be in that blank area there of the PCB where there is nothing else so I'm going to go as low as I can on this side and we'll put a little hole in there and we should be ready to go now I'll find a pencil uh, in this area here so there we go marked and it will fit in this side of the battery as well so when we go in there this isn't protruding towards the battery okay so we'll get him we'll get him in here as low as we can which is probably the flat ends about there so in about there we go that mark is where the hole's going to go. Okay, now we've cut the red lead of the battery. We'll put him onto the center of our little switch. Okay, he's on the center. And we've got to get a little piece of red wire and extend him on this fella, which I'll heat shrink together and put him to the other terminal on the switch. And then we plug this in and, well, there's our switch in line with our battery. That's got to be uh, tightened up a little bit yet. And we should be using... A spanner but anyway now just straighten him up there I've got a little piece of red wire we'll join our red wire to this fella and uh, show you the finished product okay guys so you can see what I've done there I've just uh, cut into the line the red line of the uh, plug and this is for the newbies that have bought one of these but they uh, are having this problem and solder him onto there and now we have a switch in line with our our little uh, connector there like that and I've just had a look at the connector you can't change that to USB-C. There's just no room, so can't be done. We're not too worried about that. Okay. So we'll connect our battery. Which way does he go around? This way. Like that. And he's on. 
Now guys, with this switch at the moment, it's upside down on the way I want it. I want it uh, down as on in Australia. It's just the way we're used to things here. In uh, America, it's a little bit different. So I'm just going to flip him over. There we go. And we'll tighten him up. Doesn't need to be super, super tight. I'm just going to straighten our switch up. And just make sure he's, yeah, he's firm there. That's good. Okay, so if we look at this, turn him on, there he is. And we can still use our part here, our switch. When we're finished, turn him off. There's no current drain from the battery whatsoever. That's what we want. Okay, let's get him together. There. There we go. Okay. So that's about it, guys. That's, uh, that's all you do. I've been going to do this for 12 months. I've only just got around to doing it. It was annoying me so much with uh, just every time I went to use this little device, it was flat. Um, it, yeah, it was just a real nuisance. So now at least I can charge it up. And, well, this this might last three months between charges. It could last longer because at least it's not sitting there on standby. There is no battery use. Okay, so just remember, if you're charging it, when you're charging it, it's got to be on. So, otherwise, your battery's disconnected. It won't charge. Okay, so turn it on, and we'll try that now. Okay, now, my little charger, yeah, it's a little iPhone charger. That's all I use, mainly because it can fit on the end of a cord. Uh, a figure eight cord so um, it's easier than yeah than putting this up uh, with a full-on charger at the power point and so forth um, plug him in and we get him in there and there we go now if we turn that off uh, it's not going to charge the battery it's going to show it as charged but it's not so the unit has to be turned on to charge the battery, as you can see, the uh, our our red lead, our red LED. Well, it's not really coming out red there, is it? There it is. Okay. So uh, yeah, leave it turned on. Once it's charged, unplug it and turn the switch off, and that way you'll be out of standby, and you won't have any more problems with this little fella going flat. Okay, guys. Uh, a TC1, I think the TC2s are exactly the same. Um, there is room there to fit a, a very small toggle switch. You can buy it at any good electronics store. JCAR in Australia or Alltronics in Australia. Any good electronics store. And the same worldwide. Very small toggle switch. Just an on-off switch. And um, yeah, that solves the problem. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a like if you like the mod. And um, please remember to subscribe because I've got lots of videos coming up. And some of them on modification, but mostly on vintage radio. Okay, guys. Catch us later. Bye for now.